Hey everybody, it's me, Vic. Today I wanted to talk about voice mod, Elgato's Wavelink 2.0, the plugins for your Stream Deck Plus or Stream Deck, and uh, we're gonna get started here. So if you haven't downloaded voice mod already, you're gonna wanna download voice mod and install it. If you haven't downloaded Elgato's new release of Wavelink 2.0, you're gonna to wanna to download it and install it as well. Now, I do wanna have you look at everything that I've set up here. I've already made sure that I want this routed here. And if you did the pro tip, you can just, when the application is open, route it over. Anyway, in voice mod and settings, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your microphone is either the Elgato mic in or your Wavelink microphone effects. Personally, I go with microphone effects because I am using voice focus right here. I'm also using a de-esser. Now, me personally, I'm not running too many VSTs. As you can see, I'm running one and then voice focus. So I'm not really, I'm not even doing any EQ at this point. So I think that's really cool. But I'm not really too worried about too much going on with Wavelink 2.0 right now. What we want to make sure is that our voice mod is set up correctly. So our sound effects, right? We want it actually outputting into SFX. And I will get to that and the reason why. I know you've seen a lot of videos on voice mod that I've covered before, but some changes have happened. And I'm going to explain that in Wavelink 2.0. Now on mixer mode, right? Because you, when you go to settings and you go to basic, this is it. You can go to advanced settings. You can turn off noise gate if you do have a microphone that allows you to use voice focus, such as the Wave Neo, Wave 3, Wave XLR, the Stream Deck Plus, the Combo XLR Dock. I think that's it. You don't really need a noise gate anymore, which I think is really cool. Now, if you prefer to use VSTs, then you'll be using it under the microphone effects. All right, so let's go to mixer mode. Now, as you can see, everything is set up here, right? But there is something that you've noticed that is different. When Wavelink 2.0 came out of beta, voice mod no longer had two microphones listed for me. So as you can see, I have aux one, aux two, and it's not in use. There's my Elgato 4K Pro audio and my microphone voice mod virtual audio device. I'm gonna add, 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 add. Sorry about the audio doubling y'all and coming through the microphone. But once you add a microphone, it doesn't have it on mute automatically. So unfortunately it came through my speakers, but we did add the microphone. So as you can see, it was one source that was being added. Sorry, I just hit my hand on the, uh, the armchair here. So once we have this added, right? We're still gonna see that everything is working here, which means my microphone for voice mod is working, but I'm not able to hear the output coming through SFX. But we do know that the microphone is working because we can see the audio level going up. Now, if I wanted to do a sound effects, for example, you're gonna see it go through the microphone as well as the sound effects channel. Now that was kind of loud because I'm actually not using my headphones to do the recording. So I'm sorry again if you're hearing audio doubling, but I'm letting my headset charge. So that's gonna be how you set it up in voice mod. Now I wanted to bring this to light because some people were complaining about audio doubling and this is gonna be the only fix. You just move the slider all the way down. You can choose to mute it if you want to, but even muting it from what I've discovered doesn't do anything because once you open the app, you still have to come back here and remute it. So if you just move the voices where it says control your voice changer volume, this is really just going to your output because if you see where the headphones are, it's telling you where the headphones are, right? So you want to make sure that it's all the way down. Now, if I wanted to hear myself speak, I could unmute it and I would be able to know that I'm working on this microphone because I'll be able to see the audio levels moving here. So we know that this is configured. Now I'm gonna mute SFX real quick and I'm gonna select my game over and we can see that the sound effects is coming through here as well. So we know that our soundboard is gonna work and we also know that our virtual microphone is gonna work. 
Now I am using my regular XLR uh, microphone to do the video, so I'm not gonna do any of the voice changing, but I guess I can add it real quick so that way you all know it is working. Hold on. Voice mod microphone. And now I'm gonna mute my XLR and I'm gonna use a cute voice so that way you can see hear that the voice changing is working. And in case you wanted to see it work, you can see that I have the voice. And then if I push the middle, it goes back to a regular microphone, but not my XLR microphone. But it is passing through my XLR microphone. So you can see me change the voices, which I think is pretty cool. Now I've narrowed it down to two voices that I prefer to use when it comes to voice mod. And so I try to keep things pretty simple for myself, but yeah, these are pretty much the soundboards that I'm using. You don't wanna know what this is, it's to mess with people, but it's cool. I have to add a few more, but aside from that, that's like personal for myself. I do have my SFX on mute right now because I didn't wanna hear it through my video, but that's gonna be pretty much it when it comes to reconfiguring voice mod if you have the one microphone input in Wavelink 2.0. Again, you're going to want to make sure you come to settings. You're going to automatically be in basic mode. You're going to switch to mixer mode. And you're going to move the slider all the way down. So you want to see it at zero. Everything else you can leave at 100% and then configure it to your liking in Wavelink or in any other application that you might be using the virtual microphone in. But I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.